Hey guys, it's Lindsay L. Thank you so much to Cody Allen and CMT for asking me on the big show today. My brand new record, The Project, is out right now, so go check it out and let's get to answering some questions. Okay, Katrina from East Longmeadow said, I find you absolutely amazing. Thanks, Katrina. Who was your inspiration when you got into music? Shania Twain was my inspiration growing up. She was my role model. I knew every word to every song. I loved her. Tanya from Edmonton. I know where Edmonton is. That's close to my hometown. What is your favorite Timbit and Donut and Tim Hortons? This is the best question, Tanya. Um, my favorite Timbit is the chocolate ones. I mean, what girl doesn't love chocolate? And regular donut, I'd probably have to go with Honey Crullers. So good. They're kind of like Krispy Kremes. For anybody who doesn't know, Tim Hortons Donuts. All right, Craig from... Hazlitt, I hope that's how you say your town. If you had a bad day and were not on tour, what meal would you cook? Well, Craig, if I had a bad day, I have a sweet tooth, so I would just eat something terrible for me, probably. I probably would get ice cream <laughs> and eat that. Alicia from Toronto said, now that you're living in Nashville, what Canadian things have stayed with you that'll never change? That's a good question, Alicia. Um, I definitely keep up with my Canadian news, some Canadian TV shows. I always, whenever I'm in Canada for shows, I bring back Coffee Crisp, which is probably my favorite Canadian candy, Smarties, and always try to hit Swiss Chalet when I'm at home. Gina from Moncton said, in your best Canadian homegirl accent, oh boy, can you tell everybody how to correctly pronounce your full name? I mean... Lindsay, Lindsay Elizabeth L. I don't know how to say that Canadian. Lindsay, Lindsay Elizabeth L. <laughs> P.S. Have you ever gone to Stampede? Yes, Gina. I've played Stampede ever since I was a little girl. Um, I remember one year during Stampede, which for those of you who don't know what Stampede is, it's kind of like Houston's rodeo. It's, it's 10 days long. I had 68 shows in 10 days because I was my own agent and it was, it was crazy. It was a very busy 10 days. All right. Carrying along, Jeremy from Singapore. How did you decide on the flow of your debut record and what made the cut, especially with an extensive collection of songs from all of these years? Big fan of your artistry. Thanks, Jeremy. Um, Christian Bush and I really decided on the songs for this record. I want to say in the past few months, like it's come together pretty quickly. Criminal is the song I've had the longest. I've had that song for about two years, but everything else I've written in the past year. Uh, I, Isaacin from Coventry, what's your favorite TV series? I mean, I'm super into Younger right now. It's amazing. I'm obsessed about the show. I also love Scandal and Walking Dead. They're amazing. And I don't really have time to watch TV, but I, I, I get into a few shows. Vicky from Hamilton, favorite Canadian NHL team and favorite CFL team? Well, I'm a, I'm a hometown girl, so Calgary Flames and Calgary Stampeders. Ciara from all of these places that I can't even pronounce. Ciara, this is your question. What's your biggest inspiration when you're writing songs? I get my inspiration from people watching a lot, as well as you know things going on in my own life. But I mean, going through airports or just hearing stories are, is, is really good inspiration for songs. Hazel from Downers Grove. What old school female country artists did you like when you were growing up? Were there Canadian female country singers you liked? I mean, Loretta Lynn for sure. Um, as far as Canadian female country singers, Shania Twain, obviously, huge role model of mine since I was a little girl. And Terry Clark, of course. Janice from Newport News. You walk into a room and you see Britney Spears, Marie Osmond, and Miley Cyrus. Who do you say hi to first, second, and last? Oh my goodness. Um, I'm all about Malibu right now, so I'd probably say hi to Miley and then Brittany because hello, it's Brittany and then Marie. 